have the numbers, I'm going to share with you what sold over the last three days. So stay tuned. Hey friends, it is Stephanie from Three Queens Resale. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning reseller bestie, accountability partner, welcome back. So today's video, I'm gonna share what sold uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and wrap up with our weekly numbers. And just check in with you guys. Let me know in the comments how your week finished out. I will say, I have been on the struggle bus. So part of this channel and having accountability partners is a, I got to show up. Um, but I have hurt my back. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's just getting worse and worse. And um, I'm not really sure what I did. Uh, but I, when was it? Tuesday night, I didn't sleep well. Like it was really bothering me. Um, so I had a heating pad and then it's just kind of gotten like progressively worse, like throughout the week to the, I don't know, but having a hurt back and you source at the bins and you keep sourcing at the bins, even though your back is hurting is not a good plan for life. <laughs> so, um, uh, it has, it has really kind of like worn on me this week not only physically but mentally because i can't do everything that i need to get done and i've had to take a lot of breaks and a lot of naps because i'm not sleeping at night so if you're going to work for yourself definitely have like a plan in place for when you don't feel the greatest um because that's where i am i'm just struggling with like this ongoing back pain this week um but Tomorrow, is, well, today, because it is Sunday, is the start of a new week. So I am just going to hit it hard. We leave for vacation on Thursday. I know it feels like I'm always on vacation, but I'm not. <laughs> we go long stretches, but um, I had a trip to New York with my oldest daughter for her birthday a couple of weeks ago. I've been home this week, and now we're going to leave at the end of this week for our family vacation with the four of us. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, hopefully in that time frame, my back will have some time to heal. But I'm for as little work as I was able to do, I'm still happy with how our week ended out. So we'll start off with Thursday. Well, on Thursday, I initiated a 50% off sell to the oldest 500 items in our Poshmark closet. I do this at the end of every month. So I sort my cl my Posh closet from oldest listing to most current listing. And then I just go down through and click the oldest uh, listings and I do 50% off. So that allows me to thin out the oldest items that haven't sold and uh, you know, at, well, that have offers to likers that haven't sold and kind of clear out items because we're constantly bringing in, you know, 15 to 30 items a day. So we, I don't want to become so top heavy and eventually run out of storage. That is our markdown procedure kind of for our whole reselling business. We don't have anything in place for eBay, but that is one of my tasks this week is to come up with a markdown strategy for eBay because you do have to think about what am I going to do with those set items that don't sell in the first 90 days. Um, in the past, my strategy is like, ah, uh, like it'll eventually sell and you'll see from my what sold today, yeah, things do eventually sell. But since we are increasing what we bring in, I do want to make sure that each month we kind of have like a boot uh, clear out. And uh, since we source a little differently also with sell through rates, I'm anticipating like six months from now, this process is gonna look a lot different because we might not have as much 
um, available that's been hanging on past 90 days since we seem to, seem to really, that is a goal that I've worked on that I'm really proud of. It seems like things are flipping a lot quicker and that's all because we're sourcing smarter. So let me get into this because I've rambled on for five minutes now. So Thursday, if we look at the Thursday numbers, we started eBay with a 1,680 listings. Um, we had three eBay sales for a total of $90 and 43 cents. Um, we listed 22 sourced 46. We had nine other items sell on other platforms for a total of $111.89. And our total for the day was 202.32, bringing our week total to $553.67. I'm gonna move this down just a tad because I feel like there's so much. Um, and so here's what sold on Thursday. We had first on eBay, this easel mini dress size large. It had been listed since March 19th and the order total was $18.55. The sales tax was $121. The transaction fee was $269 and our earnings came to $14.65. I'm sorry. Next up, we have a string of Poshmark orders because all these Poshmark orders came in when I um, sent out the offers for 50% off. So we had this Chico's New Attack Blazer Size Medium. It had been listed since December 30th of 2022. It sold for $16 after the $320 in fees. I was left with $12.80. Next up, we had this Patagonia a Corrine dress size medium. It sold for $10 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $7.05 and that had been listed since February 23rd. Then we had this Gap Cal Neck sweater size large. It sold for $8 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $5.05 that had been listed since August 15th of 2022. Next up, we had this Icelandic design knit cardigan sweater, size medium. It had been listed since October 23rd of 2022. It sold for $24 after the $4.80 in fees. I was left with $19.20. Next up, we had this rag and bone knit sleeveless sweater, size extra small. Rag and bone is one of those brands I will pick up because it is very expensive on the um, the non-resale market. I can't think of what the term is. Um, it is very expensive, but it doesn't really do well for me um, on the resale market. So. Uh, this one sold for $14 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $11.05. So it is one of those brands, a definite pickup, especially when I find it at the bins. But I never get as much as other people do. And it sits a long time for me. Next up on Poshmark was this pre Free People Long Sleeve Pullover Size Medium. It had been listed since February 9th. It sold for $15 after the $3 in fees. I was left with $12. Next up was this Chico's Flowy Dress Medium. Now, this one, one was not part of the sale. It just sold right out. It had only been listed since April 19th. It sold for $18 after the $3.60 in fees. We were left with $14.40. And just as I'm like, I don't know. Chico's. I don't know about Chico's. Like Chico's is selling. I sold two, uh, may, and that brings me to maybe I have things priced too high. There is a threshold in which people are like, okay, I want it. That's a great deal. Um, and then like, uh, I don't know. It's used Chico's. Like, I don't know if I want to spend $30 for it. So there is that threshold and you have to find that sweet spot with the buyer. Next up on Poshmark was this Etc. 
blazer size four. It sold for $15 after the $3 in fees. I was left for 12, with 12. And that had been listed since October 3rd of 2023. Then on eBay, we have this Johnny Was Maxi Dress, size small, multicolor, mixed pattern, very pretty. It was silk. It was part of the Johnny Was Jade line. And it sold for $89.30 was the order total. The sales tax was $7.30. The transaction fee was $12.23. The shipping label was $5.93. And my earnings were $63.84. And that had been listed since October 26th. Then on eBay, I had this Torrid Blush Floral knit, uh, Print Knit Skater Dress, size 3X. It sold on eBay. The order total was $21.57. The sales tax was $125. The transaction fee was $360. The shipping label was $532. And my earnings were $11.97. Torrid is another one of those that I... Um, I'm now only picking up at the bins. And that had been listed since March 6th. Then we had a item, a very quick, quick flip. This one sold on Depop. It was uh, Free People Intimately, this raspberry slip dress. It sold for $22. After the transaction fee, I was left, or uh, after the transaction fee of $146. The Depop fee of two twenty. My earnings came to eighteen thirty four. So that brings our an end to our Thursday listings, our sales. Let me know in the comment what you thought I gave away <laughs> and how your sales went on Thursday. Next up, we move to Friday. Let me get back to my Friday. On eBay, we have active listings of 1,690. We had two sales on eBay for a total of 36.22. We listed 17 and sourced zero. From other profit, we had five sales from Poshmark, Macari, Depop for a total of 42.20. And our total was 78.42, bringing our weekly total to $632.09. And we have some residuals left over from Poshmark and our big sell. Um, so first up was this Franco Sardo wedge size 10. Um, it sold for $14 after the $2.95 of fees. We were left with $11.05. And that one had been listed since August 13th of 2022. So by sorting my listings on Poshmark by the oldest to the newest and only sending out clearance offers to the oldest 500, we have um, about 2,000 listings on Poshmark. So it's like 25% of the closet. It gets rid of some of those older listings that have been hanging around. Um, which is the goal of that. I wish all 500 of them would have sold, but they didn't. Next up, we had this Adidas sports bra. It had been listed since March 4th. I was sent an offer for $7. I think she said five, and then I countered um, on seven. So after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with four oh five. Next up was this Fabletics Shelby Black Eyelet Mesh Top. It was a size 3X. It sold for $14 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $11.05, and that had been listed since uh, March 12th. And when I send out offers on Poshmark now, the only time they get a shipping discount is like when they like it the first time. I've taken off the, the shipping discount because Poshmark doesn't require you to do a shipping discount with offers to likers like they used to. Um, so I'm not going to. Mm. 
Uh, next up were these Airy Leggings Multicolor Medium. These have been listed since May 14th. And so the, a sale like this really validates my decision to kind of walk away or back away from whatnot. This was a sale that I had, an item I had purchased. I used to pick up airy things just for whatnot and start them like at two or three dollars. Um, but this sold, you know, in less than a week for 15 on Poshmark. So, yay. Um, whereas I probably would have only got three or four dollars for them on whatnot. So here's my thoughts about that. When you do all the work, you take the photos, um, and you list them, you can ask for more money. When you're just like showing it up, um, you're not gonna get as much on for most of us, for most of us. Uh, there are some people completely killing it with new tag items and some pre-owned items over there. But I find like that my numbers are much better when I just list and let it be. Next up was this Banana Republic dress size zero petite. And this is something I should have never picked up. It could fit an American Girl doll. It was so tiny. Um, Banana Republic has a low sell through rate. I did not realize that back in the day before I, <laughs> back in February when I listed this. Um, so I was happy to see this one go. It sold for $7 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $4.05 and that had been listed since February 1st. Then on eBay, this Harley Davidson zip up knit cardigan sold. Um, it had been listed since May 13th. Um, the order total was $45.60. The sales tax was two seventy eight. The transaction fee was six oh three. The shipping label was seven sixteen, and then our earnings were twenty nine sixty three. And that was a quick flip, less than two weeks. Next up on eBay was this vintage Gap long sleeve button down. Um, so this was a mistake on my on my um, part, and I'll point that out in just a second. The order total was $17.29. The transaction fee was $2.54. The shipping label was $6.09. So that's my first mistake. The shipping label was too high. Um, we are working on going through and correcting our shipping labels because for some reason, when you just do what the automatic um, weight is on eBay, like when you type it in, it'll say like, for this, it's about a pound. Those are a little heavier than they should be. So that was the first mistake. That should have shipped for a, between like four and five dollars. No, my shipping label was 716 or no, yeah. Yes, and then my ad fee was 207. I only do 2% um, on average for, it's normally between two to 5%. For some of the things that are older that have a, a very saturated, you know, like a 1% sell through rate, I have upped it to five just to put mine up at the front so we can like get rid of those. But generally I'm like 2% um, with that. Well, me moving too fast, I made it 12%, <laughs> so the ad fee was very high at $2.07. So that made my earnings for that $6.59. So moral to the story, if you are going to do promoted listings, make sure you aren't moving too fast and not giving too much of your profit away. And on the shipping label, double check, make sure the weight is okay. My husband, just got a new scale, so we are weighing everything on eBay before we purchase the labels, um, just to verify um, that we are not buying more weight than we need to on the labels or charging the seller more than we need to for the labels. And so that was the end of our Friday. Moving on to the last day of our week was June 1st. So I have lots of June 1st goals. Um, so I'm going to like skate through this week. This, you know, when you're going on vacation, you don't ever work as hard. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try not to do that, <laughs> but, um, I'm going to go hard Monday, 
Tuesday and Wednesday. And then uh, I'm going to take a break. But I'm excited because we're going up to a family reunion in Chicago. So I'm going to do some sourcing there. So thanks, Chicago Land friends, for the tips. If you are in the Chicago area and you have additional places you think I could benefit from stopping in, leave them in the comments. And then after that, we come back Sunday and we leave Monday for our family vacay in we're going to Marco Island, Florida. We've never been to Marco Island. We've been know the Naples area and Fort Myers area really well. So I'm really excited because this is a place none of the four of us have been and know anything about. But yes, but we're only staying like Monday through Friday because it's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive, but we're going to have a great time. Um, so June numbers. Uh, or June 1st, what sold? These Kohan Vartan sports sneakers, size 11. These poor sneakers have had it rough. Like they were bought and then they were returned for fit and now they're being bought again. They're size 11. Um, we've had them since March 9th, 2023. They sold for 22. I took an offer for $22. I was left with four, or the fees were four forty. I was left with seventeen sixty. Next up, these red beans and rice knit palazzo pant size small. Um, we've had it says since March twenty six. I know we've had these much much longer, um, or maybe my daughter just gave them to me out of her closet. My screen is really dark, friends. I don't know why. Oh, I have a I have a light bulb out. We're going to rock and roll through this and fix that for the next video. Um, but they sold for $10 after the $2.95 in fees. I was left with $7.05. Next up were these Stuart Weitzman wedges, green size eight and a half. Even as I was picking these up, I was like, are these going to sell? Because they're different, but the grill, I don't know. They did sell for $15. I took an offer for $15. After the $3 in fees, I was left with 12. They've been um, listed since December 7th of 2023. Next up, I knew this one was gonna sell, was this J. Crew Eyelet um, Midi Length Dress, orange size four. It had been listed since May 14th, so just two weeks. It sold for $20. After the $4 in fees, I was left with 16. Then on Macari, we have this Chico's No Iron Button Down. It has been listed since May 16th, um, and it sold for $23 on Macari, which we don't have to pay seller fees on. Then moving to eBay, we had this London Fog Zip Up Jacket Tan. It, the order total was 38. The sales tax was $3.36. The transaction fee was five eighteen. The shipping label was ten thirty three, and my earnings were nineteen eighty two. Then on eBay we have these Zach and Rachel pull on crop pants, size twenty women's. The order total for those was twenty two thirty four. The sales tax was one o one. The transaction fee was three sixteen. The shipping label was $5.32, and then my earnings were $12.55 on those. And then also on eBay, these White House Black Market Pedal Pusher Capris. The order total was $15.15. The sales tax was $0.63. Cents. The transaction fee was $2.27. The shipping label was $5.52. And the ad fee was 76 cents and our earnings were only 597 on those. And our last sell of the week was on Depop. These Note Mary Janes, size 30, oh, they sold for 37. The transaction fee was 205. The Depop fee was 370 and my earnings were 3125. And those have been listed since March 4th. So that is it for our numbers right now. Our eBay sits um, for its 30-day like total 
56 percent um percent above in, increase in revenue so over the last 30 days so a down from the hundred and some odd percent but we are still um improving and and as we get deeper into the reboot um it's going to be hard to maintain that 150 percent improvement because we had a long way to go to improve like from zero to like nothing so now we have something and i'm just looking to maintain like that 50 60 percent improvement throughout the the course of the the rest of the year as we work towards making 50k on ebay so thank you guys so much for joining me and be sure to like this video leave me a comment down below and if you have a little time want to listen to me while you work watch the playlist below and i will see you in the next one friends Three queens Brazil where the deals just shine Boss ladies on the grind every single time From fitness to new, they got the fashion view Step into their world, you feel brand new Got Gucci, got Prada, got everything you crave Their passion for fashion is what they brave the gave Brazil getting strong and the ladies in command Three queens Brazil taking over the land